Good morning, it's Nola. I just thought I would come on and show you some pieces of uh, curtain that I was cutting out yesterday. I wanted to make some appliques, so I didn't have a whole lot of energy to start something new, so I just took a curtain piece and uh, started making appliques. So, uh, here, I'll show you. And there's one that came out of a curtain. And there's a teeny flower. Let's just let these go. Okay, there's a teeny flower. Um, there's a bigger flower. And if you stack these up, they look really cool. I cut out some leaves. So you can use leaves under them as well. Or just a single one like so and then I cut out one of these I think those are kind of kind of pretty as well um, there's another piece I really like that one so it's, it's just fun. It's just fun doing all these. And there's a smaller one like that. And let's see. Oh, here's one that I cut out. I don't know what I'll use these for, but you could gather it with a ribbon or something. And... Um, I just I took out the piece on the top and the bottom piece to get that off the top of the curtain. Um, and there's more. I was having a great time. Got this one cut out, or you could have it going this way as well. So there's that one. You can do all kinds of things with these curtains. And there's another one. Wouldn't that be pretty on the bottom of a of a page? And then put an embellishment, a little um, bling in the center of each one of those. Or build it up with something else on top of it. Um, I mean, I don't know, but... I'm sure you could do that. No. Oh, of course I can't find a single flower when I want one, but you could put a single flower on that. And then I didn't want to waste anything on that one, so I cut this part out and then just used my um, pinking shears on the bottom. So there again, that could be gathered through the holes. The extra pieces that were left, um, I just cut those into strips and I'll use those on angels or make them into um, flowers. And then I got one more piece, this one. So I thought that would be interesting to show you that uh, a lot of lace can be made from curtains. A lot of appliques can be made from curtains. And uh, it's just a matter of sitting and cutting it out. So it's um, a lot of fun. Anyway, I just thought I'd pop by and say hello to everyone and Thank all my new subbies. I'm going to get to a thousand before you know it. And uh, hope everybody has a great day. I may work on the embellisher today, so if I do, I will set it up and show you some work on that. So I'll talk to you later. Bye, everyone. Have a great day. Bye now.